January 1st is the first day of the Gregorian calendar. There are 364 days remaining until the end of the year. Some cases, 365 days in a leap year. Now, this day is known as New Year's Day, since the day marks the beginning of the year. So, Happy New Year again to everyone watching and all the people that are watching the future. <laughs> Happy New Year. I mean, so interesting. 2021 is finally here. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where, which story are we starting with? Uh, sadly, we don't have nice stories in the news. My story yeah. is just so depressing. Mine's Let me start with... Uh, Mine is uh, really depressing. So who, who has a hopeful story? I have a hopeful story. You know what? Oh, Maybe let's, we start should, with you. let's start with you. Because okay. mine is depressing. My story is from, you know, somebody actually said, oh, I was in, the, I was in a group of people and they actually said, oh, Good luck, Jonathan, was actually good luck for Nigerians. But Nigerians didn't know that good luck was good luck to them. Wow. <laughs> so in this um, context, let's um, talk about the story. So this story actually resonated with me because it says in security, COVID-19, Nigerians must continue to hope. Yeah. This was by good luck, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. And it's, there is nothing else for us to do other than to hope for mm -hmm. a better tomorrow and mm -hmm. a better Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And even though we are going through a lot of challenge, we went through a lot of challenges in 2020, the only thing we, we have is to, um, is to hold on to hope mm -hmm. because that is what would take us to faith and you know and the future. Mm -hmm. So I totally agree with the former president of Nigeria. He, he's so apt on this. Hope is what we have to hold on to. We all need hope. Especially, in fact, um, you know, the, the, the truth is, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people committed suicide. I used to say, and that's why for me, it was very important for us to start off the year, the show, the year, this year, with a message of hope. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people committed suicide. You know, for the person to get to that point where you can't even see anything yeah. worth living for, it means that you've lost hope. And so for me, hope is a very, very strong, um, what's it called, determining factor for a lot of things for us, you know, in 2021 and beyond. You know, so I, I'm, 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 I'm enjoying the story and I, I think, you know, it's very apt, you know, yes. that we all must hold on to hope. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, most of these children or individuals that are actually um, ended up um, committing suicide, they had nothing to hold on to. Absolutely. And they didn't even have any source of, okay, where is the next meal coming from or who will they be able to interact with that will give them a source of hope. Absolutely. So another thing is also having youth empowerment as well. If a child, if an individual is empowered, they would have that hope, okay, if, if I fail here, I can look up to getting business or getting yeah, my we'll, next meal we'll from come, this. We'll come to that, yeah. We'll come so to that because so we have important. a long day to talk about everything exactly. that we're hopeful for. All right, so Jennifer, what did you find for us in the news? <sighs> <laughs> Parents of molested Deeper Life School students mm. respectfully demand 100 million naira in compensation. Ooh. So basically, they are accusing the school of um, alleged um, gross child abuse, palpable molestation, serial bullying, criminal starvation, malicious oppression, and dubious maltreatment of the young child. Honestly, um, 100 million is okay. The truth is, there's no amount of money that can give this boy back what he has lost. That's where I was going. No to. amount of money. But um, right now, I think the first thing they need to do is to get the boy into therapy. Mm -hmm. And the school has to own up for some of these things because we all saw evidence. Yeah, they have to own, yeah, they have to own up. They, have to, they really have to own up. And we don't know how many kids have gone through something like this. I think... The, um, the boy is just lucky or the parents are really just lucky that he was able to speak Express up himself. and if he was if he, if he was coming from a family where they usually shush you or probably silence you when you have something to say mm. that means he won't, he won't have said anything and none of us would have known that something like this was going on in the school so just imagine how many other kids are going through the same thing not just in deeper life but in other schools so I think this serves as a lesson, and everyone just needs to keep their eyes open and be very watchful. Hmm. But been, uh, I don't know. I wish them the best. Has there been a response from Deeper Life so far? I don't no. think they can respond. Um, in response to, <laughs> to, to this, I, I don't think there has we'll been a response. They said they gave them um, 21 days mm. to pay up. Mm. So 
Oh, well, it's a developing story. Oh, 21 days. <laughs> I haven't said anything. Yet. It's a developing story. We'll keep monitoring days. it because we yeah. talked about it on, uh, on on Monday. Was it on Monday or Wednesday? On Wednesday. Wednesday. Well, we yes, talked about Wednesday. it on Wednesday. I remember it, one of the audience sent in a comment and said that why is that in our country we always like to, you know, we don't put, we don't um, follow through with things that has to do with punishment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just say, oh, let let us leave it. God, God, will, God will take control. Know. So I, I like the fact that she's going the legal route and mm -hmm. suing them a hundred millionaire, right? Mm -hmm. So if they have their own, uh, what's it called? Um, if they have their own evidence to counter whatever yeah. it is that she has put up, then of course they should bring it and yeah. everybody should go to court. But still, yeah. I still yeah. come back to the child's emotional oh, well-being. Oh, definitely. He'll be taken the, care of. Because the, 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 the more we, this is out no, there, the more attention see, is being drawn Even the to fight him. that the mother fought for him, that he saw her mm. fight for him openly, has mm. healed him to some extent. Is enough? Yeah. Yes. To some extent, he'll he's feel, yeah. he'll feel, he'll he'll feel, feel a lot better. He'll feel more protected. secure, yeah. That no matter what happens in future, his mother will always fight for him, yes. And that's something a lot of parents need to start doing for Absolutely. their kids. Because Absolutely. a lot of us grew up with parents who, it's not like they didn't want to fight for us. They probably didn't know how to. And, they and some of them just let's forgive. Here, let's forgive. Let's God forget will fight for us. On. Yes. And yes, forgive and forget. Move on. But what else? All right, so this story is actually quite um, sad. You know, someone forwarded this story to me. I just thought, you know what? I was looking for a story to tell, but I, I, you know, it's really sad. Hmm. Ethiopian migrant hailed as model for integration in Italy, raped and murdered by her Ghanaian employee. Wow. This story was really sad. Now, this young woman, um, let me see if I can find mm. her name, Agitu Idao Gudeta, that's her name. She was mm. raped in her farm. She's a goat farmer. She produced cheese, right? She was raped in her farm by her um, Ghanaian employee. And the allegation was that I think she was owing salaries employee and all of that. Employer? Employee. Ooh. She is the employer. She oh, she's the employer. Yeah, yeah. she's the, the employer. He is 32. She is 42. So oh. he raped her and stabbed her. Um, so I, I think he killed her, then raped her. He used a hammer, rather, on her oh and raped her. And, you know, this is one lady that has been celebrated all over, you know, because of her innovations. She had issues in, um, in her own home country, Ethiopia, mm -hmm. and migrated to Italy. And she's been gaining a lot of grounds, even... Um, um, uh, what's it called? Media houses like um, Routers, they've taken up her story, mm -hmm. featured her for the great innovations that she's doing in their Greek sector in um, Italy, Italy and all of that. And somebody just comes and he admitted that he actually murdered her. You know, he admitted that he murdered her. Did he give uh, any reason? That's what I'm saying. The allegation was that based on the fact that he over unpaid salary, they had an argument and he you know, used the hammer on her and raped her. You see, this so is it's why so they say sad, Africans you know? are so unfair to themselves. To themselves, a fellow Ghanaian, like you are an African. African, right? And not why only that, do that, if she and also had, man. if she even had good, uh, what's it called, a good um, home to stay in her home country would and opportunity, would she even decide to say she wants to go anywhere? It's just crazy, honestly. So I, I just think it just, the story for me, it, it brought a lot of things, right? The government, when, when you are not um, empowering your citizens within their country, they will always look for greener pasture, um, pastures, pastures elsewhere. Mm. So there are so many things that, you know, cuts across for this story for me. I just exactly. thought to mention the story. Well, 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 we'll follow it up and hopefully she finds justice. You know, this is why I keep saying to people that, what my coach will always say that what doesn't cost life can be replaced. Exactly. The good thing about Don Davis is that he's alive. Exactly. Some people did not survive did not it. Survive this is one case. Hmm. So let us first of all thank God for life. Then we can now move on from there. Absolutely. All right, so we're supposed to give hope. Now so we're going to give left hope. Us <laughs> to we'll see you right after the break as we just share our stories and share hope to you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.